प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब द यूट्यूब चैनल विकीनोट फाउंडेशन एंड क्लिक द बेल आइकॉन टू रिसीव नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ न्यू अपलोडेड वीडियोज हेलो फ्रेंड्स इट सुजीत बाग यू आर वॉचिंग विकीनोट चैनल टूडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लोर अबाउट द पोर्ट स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ पिक एटीन एफ ट्रिपल एक्स माइक्रो कंट्रोलर आई कैन गारंटी यू आफ्टर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो नो बडी कैन एक्सप्लेन द port structure of pic 18 in the simplest and easiest manner in which i am going to explain so let's start so take down the snapshot of this diagram because we are going to use this diagram as it is for the rest of the cases so first you should know some basics about this port structure as this is a port pin and this is the internal architecture of port of pic 18f microcontroller so at the output side you can see we are having two mosfet with us p mos and n mos you should know about the little bit working of p mosfet if input is zero for p mosfet it is going to be on if vcc at the base of this mosfet then it is going to be off for n mosfet it is opposite input is zero it is going to be off and if input is vcc it is going to be on so see here i have categorized this diagram into the data latch and second one is the trias latch so it is expected that you should know about some basics of the port each there are five ports in pic microcontroller port a b c d and e each port has three registers associated with it port x trias and latex where x can be a b c d e so here what i am going to do i have to i am i have divided this port structure into the four parts first is case 1 that i am going to writing low on the port pin see here internal cpu bus data latch input is zero so categorize this internal cpu data bus is writing zero over here so what will be the output of this data latch flip flop so qd will be zero and qd bar will be one so you should know about the flip flop working output is zero output is one i have written here output of data latch qd is equal to zero q bar d is equal to one then internal trias latch so that means internal trias latch at the trias latch what i am going to write at the internal trias latch i have to write input as a zero because if i am writing here as a zero the direction of this port x pin is going to be as an output pin by default all the pins of pic microcontroller are input configured so in order to send the data outside the microcontroller you have to write a zero into the trias register bit of that particular pin so i have written zero what will be the output of qt i have written here qt will be zero and q bar t will be one okay so see here or gate or gate what is the input of or gate or gate is getting a and b i have just named this c d output of or gate is y and output of or gate uh, and gate is z so input to the or gate is qd bar it is one b is zero b is zero so one one or with zero the output is going to be one so y will become one and if y is equal to one that means as studied vcc at the base of that pmos so it is going to be remain off so i have written pmos is equal to off so try to write it in this simpler manner again for and gate look at the and gate what is input and gate is getting this a so i have written here as a c and its value is 1 at this moment and for the d d is also 1 so both are one so that means output of this and gate z is going to be 1 and the n mos as studied if input is 0 n mos is off and input is vcc then n mos is going to be turned on uh, so here i am getting n mos as on so if n mos is on see here this port is going to, this nmos is on that means this port is going to be behave like this it is acting as a close switch and this will be ground so it will be pulled low and at the output px point x you are going to be zero see here 
PMOS is off as at the PMOS you are getting one at the base so PMOS is going to be off so there is no possibility of that VDD current to flow in towards the ground so this pull pin will be pulled low and that means at the PX point X you are getting zero as the output now we'll go with the case 2 in the case 2 what I am going to do I am writing going to write high on the port pin so that means at the port I want one as the output so for one as the output the internal CPU bus should also write one here so if it is one what will be the QD one what will be QD bar zero what will be the status of A and B now A is connected to QD bar so it is zero and what about B that we are going to study I, I now got the status now here for the tri slash the direction of tri slash input or the direction of this pin should be output as we are going to write the data outside of the microcontroller so for setting the direction input should be zero output of tri slash so output of tri input is zero output is zero one so this zero is be replicated here a zero b zero and what about qt bar as it is zero it is one and what about c and d t is getting now zero here a equal to 0 and same in input is going to be provided to the C D is 1 as it is now we will st study here output of tri slash QT is 0 QT bar 1 OR gate OR gate OR gate is getting 0 and B is also 0 so what will be the output of Y output so both are 0 output is also going to be 0 and if output is 0 at the base of this PMOS you are getting 0 that means it is going to be turned on so I will just tick this so PMOS now the status will change PMOS on what about the AND gate AND gate is getting C equal to 0 D equal to 1 so C equal to 1 C equal to 0 and D equal to 1 and the output will be 0 so N MOSFET is going to be turned off as studied earlier so what will be the status of this now as this is on VDD through VDD you are going to provide the voltage at this pin and that pin is held high now and you have written the high at the output pin that's it that is simple now we'll go with the third case the third case now we have to suppose they read the data into the microcontroller so for reading the data instead of writing I will just explain here read high one or port pin so while reading the data internal cpu data bus here we are going to consider this values as as don't care because we are not going to provide the data from the input so we will write here as a don't care so if it is a don't care see here a will be a is going to be don't care we are not going to care about this value c is also going to be treat as the don't care but if you look at the internal tri slash as we have to consider that data towards the microcontroller as we have to read the data read the data means the flow of the data will be like this now the data is arriving at this pin and you have to read that data so if you have to read high what should be the status of suppose now internal latch output in uh, latch input so you have to configure that pin as an input pin by default that is input but you can also write through the tri slash input as one so here tri slash input is going to be one so what will be the output of tri slash so here i will write see here internal cpu data bus it is going to be the don't, don't care output of data latch qd bar i'm going to write it as don't care internal tri slash as its input is one we have to set direction as a now input pin as we have to read the data inside the microcontroller output of tri slash if it is one the output of tri slash is going to be one what will be the output of qt bar zero so here i am going to write one and zero just modify that for the or gate a input what is a input a input is don't care what is b input b input is one see b input is one and a input is continuously don't care so what is output of one or with one or with don't care the output is going to be one al always so as it is getting one always what should be the status of as y output is going to be one always what should be the status of p mosfet it is going to be off always that's it for the and gate 
and as this is an AND gate that means this is a multiplication of individual inputs C and D and this output is going to be always going to be zero anything that x don't care it may be zero or one and here n mosfet is again going to be off so both mosfet are off now i will show this with the tick like this so both are off if both are off there is no role of this mosfet now and this pin if the data is high at this pin and the same data is going to be read through this data read latch and this is going to be transferred to the internal CPU data bus that's it so now we'll go with the case 4 now in the case 4 read low or 0 on port ping so internal CPU bus again don't care output of data latch QD, bar, QD is equal to don't care QD bar is also going to be don't care internal try slash input 1 as you have to set the direction as an input output of try slash 1 0 as it is there is no change in the reading low and reading high because we have to keep this P MOSFET and N MOSFET as off so whatever data either this data will be 0 or 1 logic 0 logic high and that you have to read into the PIC microcontroller hope you have understand this video please do like share and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching this video stay tuned for more such videos please like and share this video with your friends also refer my website wikinote.org follow us on our facebook page wikinote foundation the links for the same are provided in the description box below